Hello YouTube, Brandon here. Today I'm going to be showing off the latest progress for Vocal Web XR. That's the AR VR extension to Vocal, which allows you to do vocal programming with your VR headset. Um, it's a MetaQuest 3 in my case, but it'll work for Apple Vision Pro as well. This nice space track backdrop that you see is something that I got from BlockadeLabs.com. They let you generate the skyboxes, um, so you can just kind of put a description in and they'll give you a skybox for whatever you're looking for. So I just said something like dark space ground, stuff like that. Um, obviously, you can choose whatever you want and make your workspace personalized. Um, so for this video, I'm going to be showing how you can set up your workspace, how you can do some vocal programming, and then how you can debug that all with uh, with inside your headset. Um, to start with, I'm going to ahead, go ahead and set up the um, workspace you're going to be working from. Um, show tool window vocal. Show tool window project. Show tool window structure. These are going to be the basic tool windows we're going to use for doing our development. This shows the project structure, shows what we've been saying to Vocal, what it says back. Um, and then here's the code structure that we're working on. Um, we're going to be making a very basic user auth program that allows us to create users and verify them. Um, so to start with, let's create some classes. Computer. 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 Create a class called uh, User. I'm using the MetaQuest 3's mic, um, not an external mic. So its quality isn't as good. But obviously, if you had a better mic, you'd get better better results. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give this some basic properties, um, username, password, email address, computer, add um, fields and constructor and getters for username, password, and email address. Uh, it looks like you only got some fields. So computer. Add the missing constructor and getters. All right, that looks better. It's out of order, but semantically it's correct. So we're going to move on. Uh, computer. Create a class called user auth test. Computer. Create a class called user auth manager. This is where we're going to do the testing. So we're going to add a main function here. And then the user auth manager is where we're going to do the actual um, implementation logic. All right. So we're going to start with uh, doing the user auth, auth manager. We're going to add a create function or a create user function and a verify password. Computer. Computer. Add a uh, create user and a verify password function. The create user function should return a user and it should take in username, password, email. The verify password should take in username and password and return um, whether or not the password is correct. And for the backend, I need you to add a field called users. It should be a map that holds the username and user. Go ahead and give me those implementations. Probably a bit more specific than I need it to be, but the longer description, the kind of more it has to work with. So uh, let's see what it got. It got the uh, the casing wrong. That's not camel case, but let's see the implementation. Um, username, password, email. New user, username, password, email. Users put. Uh, verify users. Looks good. It looks good besides the fact that it doesn't um, check that the user exists. And it, and it chose that casing, which is strange. Um, so... This is GPT-4 Turbo. So when it generates this code, it, it, it likes to use the code that exists to to uh, create better code. Since I have no code, it's kind of like generated from scratch and it's just uh, obviously not as good as if it had some context. Um, we're going to keep the casing that way um, because it is a semantically correct implementation. I'm just going to go ahead and fix the create user. Computer. Computer. Fix the create user function. It should throw an error if there's a uh, duplicate request. All right, looks good. So we got verify password, got create user. Looks good. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and move to our test. We're going to add a main function that'll test this user auth manager, make sure it works correct. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and debug it. Computer, add a main function that tests the user auth manager class. This text issue here is because I don't really know how to use WebGL. 
Um, so I don't exactly know how to fix that. If you are somebody that knows how to use not WebGL, is it OpenGL? Something like that. Um, this is going to be open source. So if you understand WebXR or OpenGL, which I think is the issue here, um, please contribute. So let's see what the implementation we got is. We got user auth manager, user one, user one, create user, test user, password, test. It throws an exception. It's not incorrect. It's not incorrect. It tries to see if the user already exists. If it does, then it's an exception. It sees the password correct. Password one, two, three. Password incorrect, wrong password. All right, so the implementation looks good. We're going to add some breakpoints. Computer. 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 Again, the, oh, sorry, I have the, the mute button on. Computer. Um, add breakpoints to the print lines. All right. Uh, computer. Run this in debug mode. We should see, there we go. We got a breakpoint hit and we can see that the is password correct. You can kind of see the, the shadow text there. It shows true. Computer, play. And you can see there that the shadow text uh, is password incorrect, false. Computer, play. And there's currently, these don't update, so I'm gonna have to hide it and show it again. Um, hide tool window debug. Hide tool window debug. Show tool window debug. There you go. You can see um, right there, password correct for test user true. Password verification failed for test user false. That was this code that we ran right here where we created a user. We tested with the correct password. We got a true. We tested with the incorrect password. We got a false. So obviously, um, this is kind of rough. But this is the current status of it. I'm going to be releasing this um, as a standalone project. So if you're interested in kind of improving this or using it, um, please do check it out. Thanks for watching.